Right back on again folks as we carry along the track. I can't imagine this being three gigabytes by the way. And don't forget I didn't do a lot of videoing back there so that would have been quite a lot of that first part of the walk from the gate right over the other side that would have easier taken a gigabyte and then climbing up the hills do you know what I mean anyway we don't want to go on about that all the time do we <sighs> records in time records in time Lovely daisies dancing in the wind. I've got a granddaughter called Daisy. She's going to be 21 very soon. Are you videoing Sheila? Yeah. Just be careful what you're saying, girl. <laughs> yeah. That's why you have to go for it afterwards because sometimes I forget the video's on and I'm mumbling away. Probably moaning about somebody. <laughs> That's why it takes me so long to do everything because I do have to go through them. It's lovely, the scorpion of daisies I just love it you know I have to come back out and video here look at that lovely scene up there I'm gonna take a picture hold on we go again. again we're not far now from the end actually seem to have come to it very quickly is this the end do you think of course I've done the other side you see I videoed the other side and I stood up there and I stood up there and I looked back Keep hearing planes. I was on a walk once when the red arrows went over and they were going to Cardiff for a display about four o'clock. So you've got to keep an eye out for them. They could shoot over again. There could be a display. I think it's too windy though. Um, I don't think they do it when it's this windy. Am I still on? Yeah. rocks up there look lovely blue sky at the moment they said it was going to brighten up this afternoon what we'll do to compensate today we'll just walk to the end a bit more so there aren't so many people about and then we can stop and I can have a bit of cake and a drink of drink of something Yeah, because last week I think it was half term, wasn't it? Yeah, so there's a lot of a uh, lot more people out. It's, it's it's very popular here, but not like Western. It's a it's a different sort of popular, if you know what I mean. Yeah, I would have videoed all this, but at the moment lost. This is just compensation. It's exactly the same walk and the daisies are still out, it's just a different, it's uh, two weeks later or a week and a half later, something like that. Yeah, I think this was where I sort of came to a stop. That's right, I came to a stop here, so I'm just going to take a picture from here. Right, back on again, like I said, I've videoed, I've got all the video footage going along that way. 
what we'll do, which we didn't do, what we didn't do is walk to the end last week, the last visit. I have done it loads of times at the end, but on that particular day I didn't walk to the end. And I'll take some photos, we'll have the wind behind us on the way back, and I'll take some more photos which I didn't do, here. And there is quite a nice little walk around the edge there, I might do. Yeah, it's looking a bit grey, isn't it? See, they've got the lovely view we've got from there, look. Like I said, I'll take some photos in a minute. We were right up near the big tall hill. Usually you get... If I came out tomorrow and did this, there'd be lots of people about. It's a weekend, you see. And it might not be as windy tomorrow either. I'm not going to go down messing about with those rocks. No, I'm not going to. I'm not going to do that. It's very windy, isn't it? The, the previous video when I walked and it, I've got it recorded I walked all the way up in and out of there and I'm just going to do a little bit on the edge here which is also going to be added to the other video I walked along here about a month ago all the way along actually but it is it'll be quite prickly and uh, difficult I'm just, what I'm doing, I'm just going to assess if it's too dangerous to walk, if the wind's too fierce. But it is coming up from behind, which is quite good. This, uh, this, this is quite a nice little view, isn't it, walking along here. It's a quick way down, if you want to get on the beach. I've walked all that before. Over the years. This is where you need the Sony, really, where you could video and then take a picture from here, Shill. Look yeah, at just this. turn off a Do minute. Do not the smell coming off these flowers, this pure fragrance. It won't give me hay fever or an, a poisonous allergy. But I'm walking through with the daisies brushing against me. It's absolutely gorgeous. I'm just embraced by daisies. It's absolutely beautiful. It really is worth it. And it's not too bad because the wind is from behind now. But I, do, I think I've got to climb up. I forgot about that. But to get the path, because the path ends, you used to be able to walk straight across. But erosion, I've actually got to walk up now to join the path at the top. But look at if you fall, you roll all the way down there. And the tide's coming in. What I'm going to do, I'm doing, I'll join all these little videos up. I just want to take a few pictures and turn off while I'm going up. No, I'll keep it rolling while I'm going up. It's easier going up than coming down, believe it or not. Is it? Yeah. It's much harder coming down than slippery. Going up, dead easy. See? It's easy going up. And we'll join the path. So look, there's two people I see a few times. And they, I don't know, they're almost like statues. And they're not though, and they seem to hug that corner. I've seen them a couple of times, they're always there. Yeah, I was on the path up there, 
south last time. This is an extra really that I'm doing. This is an extra. Yeah, and it's not too bad because the wind's behind. We're gonna we are I'm gonna actually follow the lower path I've decided. Are you? Yeah. Do it in reverse, because last time I did it coming this way. But this is quite seems quite a good idea, but it is going to be difficult. Some areas are very overgrown. And that was a month ago they were overgrown, so now it's gonna be worse, isn't it? But we're just weaving and out. Oh, it's so beautiful, isn't it? Do you know what I mean? I just love this place. My Somerset, my beautiful, beautiful Somerset. Everybody, look at it. I've got to turn off to take some photos from here, folks. Isn't that gorgeous? Right, over and out for a minute. Carrying on, look, still surrounded by beauty, everyone. And although the old path I took was down there that I normally take, I've just discovered this overgrown path that I don't normally do, but I'm doing it today. It's handy to know that it's very overgrown, but I'd be joining up with another path I take down there. There must have been a turn in I missed. We just don't want to meet a snake. Right, I forgot the left the extension lead on to join the battery to the Kodak, so I've had to go over to Sony. But I might be, we're nearly the end of what I was going to do anyway now. I mean, basically, there's probably two shots left in the camera. Um, so, what I'm doing is uh, a bit of extra to put on the other film. And I'm, I'm doing a bit of the walk in reverse. But the camera's just... I've left the, the lead at home. Do you know what? I knew I'd do that. What I did, I just unhinged... I just unhinged the camera from the electric and left the lead there. I always know I should bring a spare lead because this is a lot bushier than before. It was bushy anyway, but even bushier. And we're very near falling down in the... Oh, look at that. There's some sort of moth, look. spotted moth. So we're over on the Sony now, doing extra, remembering that I walked up the top which has all been videoed, the walk up there. So this was totally unplanned doing this. Um, this is all totally unplanned. But it's not because I'm not facing the wind, it's not too bad. But there were some people down on the beach a minute ago. I don't know what this is going to turn out like. I've got no idea. I'm following a route I've done before, but really. I didn't think I was intending to do this bit. It's, it's quite dodgy up there. Oh, we we'll just have to keep going, Sheila, until you possibly see a possible way up. You can't tell so much the daisies are in the way. <sighs> That corner bit there is a dodgy bit, is it? Yeah. But I'm sure I went up higher. 
don't know now. It's difficult to see. Oh dear. Very difficult. You just have to trample through it, girl. I've got no stick or anything. And no thick coat. Oh, wait a minute. Something stuck to me then. I didn't plan to do this. Oh dear. Wait a minute. Those big brambles are getting me. Um, I'm sure I went up. I can't remember what, how I'd done this bit now. Go back a minute, see if you can go up. Let's have a look. See if there's a way up here. Um, oh, I can't remember. Go back a bit further. This is Sheila, Michael Mosley, taking risks. He's gone missing, that's news. Yeah, Michael Mosley on a Greek island. In extreme heat, there's a heat warning. He's gone missing. Right, I think I'm gonna go up there and walk round that bit. Oh, I don't really don't know what to do, actually. I'm gonna turn off for a while. Right. I decided to come back up onto the main path because it was getting uh, unclear where I could tread and I know it is a risky dodgy area uh, at the best of times so rather than risk being cut to pieces by thorns and nettles and everything and not being able to see and not having a thick coat on to protect me from you know all the bushes and that I mean, I've walked it not long ago that way, but it's, the daisies have really got me. <laughs> they said, we love you, Sheila. We're going to trap you here forever. <laughs> it was very fierce. I literally just climbed up. I thought, I'm just going straight up. I saw someone pass, so I could see the path was like oh, two minutes away from me. A minute even. So I literally just climbed up. I had thought about sliding down the rock that I do normally when I quite often do that way but the, the path was so unclear <sighs> anyway like I said I've video, videoed this bit the bit I've just done is an add-on tell the truth it's an add-on I haven't got any uh, lead to connect me to my Kodak. Do you know what? It passed my mind when I connected up the little Sony to be charged. Normally there's more than one leader hanging around and I don't normally take the one out of the camera bag. But I, and I thought to myself then, don't forget the lead. But I have. And I haven't got a spare. I usually do take a spare. But um, that's in another bag, another load of cameras. <sighs> right then, so there we go, folks. I'm going to turn off now because we've done this bit. Over and out.